Hello everyone. So I kind of thought I would do a little bit of like a day in my life here. Um, Cause I don't have much longer here. I'm almost, we're about to head back home and I have quite a bit of stuff I want to wrap up and things I want to take pictures of and try on. So yeah, we have a busy day, busy week. I have some meetings tomorrow, but I'm going to go to gym, this gymnastics place with Mason first in the morning. And then I got to come back here for some um, meetings. But other than that, it's been a pretty productive week. Yesterday was kind of like a blah day. I wasn't like in an exciting mood, I guess. So today I'm determined to be in the best mood. So we're gonna we're gonna get going. We're gonna eat. We're gonna get our makeup done. We have another launch today because we've been doing twenty dollars sweatshirts all week. About to post about that, and it's gonna be a good day. So I'm gonna eat, charge my camera, and then I'm gonna take you guys along through my day. Also, these are pretty good. Would I prefer this? No. When I get back home, I'm gonna definitely prep breakfast. Um, but for now, this is just the easiest. So that's what we're doing. Then I have those factor meals that are delicious. and shared a few last chance items. I was gonna bring you guys, but I had to charge the camera because I can't buy my other battery pack. So I'll bring you guys along for the rest of my day because I do have a couple other things I need to do. But I want to show you, look at that. This is <laughs> this is the Factor 75 meals. I've been doing these um, like meals for lunch, just specifically for lunch. And I have been loving them. They're like so flavorful. This is not sponsored. One of the girls I follow, she posted a video about this and I wanted to try it and it was sponsored for her. And it is so good. So if you see somebody sponsored by them, which I wouldn't mind being sponsored by them because they're delicious, 1010. Like if you guys remember when I used to eat bite meals, this is even more flavorful. Like this has so much flavor. Oh, it's so good. So this is like lemon pepper chicken, a little bit of rice, veggies, and it's, I have not been disappointed by one since. I even had last week, I think it was like a sausage kale pasta. I don't like kale, but it was so good. It was really, really good. So Trying on a bunch of different things right now to share. Um, and also just seeing how the styles fit on me too. And this is honestly, it's bright, but I love it. I love it. I also had it when I was filming it um, in a little front tuck, which was so cute. But the shape of this is so flattering. Like the sleeves, I love sleeves like this. And I don't know, just like the little short slits in the front. It's just so flattering. This is such a good one. I'll have to link this below, but wow. I love it. So I am packing up, getting all my stuff to head out. I'm feeling a little emotional leaving in this warehouse. I don't know why. I guess, I don't know. I think I'm just proud of it. And the last two months have been really just like great for me to be here and do some stuff here. But, you know, another day, another day. But I'm so proud of this building and I figured I would go ahead and give you guys a tour before I leave because I haven't done a proper tour yet. So it's not perfectly done, but I'm probably going to come back in tomorrow and just like add like the sweatshirts here, kind of like how we have the t-shirts over here and kind of make it how I want it to look before I officially leave for good. But today was like my last like work day here. So I'm going to show you guys what this warehouse looks like. So everybody's gone. It's just me, but this is the front of the warehouse. It is beautiful. The awnings are gorgeous. The color scheme. 
everything about it. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. You're like really pretty. <laughs> Okay, so you so you come in usually this door is closed but um, this is one of our front lobby areas so we did have Mason's don't mind all this stuff we did have Mason's birthday party here this was like such a good seating area there's like another little couch coming here um, and we're just gonna make this another little seating area too and then this is the conference room the doors are open now this is still all set up from when we had Mason's birthday but um, yeah, this will be our conference room. Plan is to have like a TV back there. All the chairs and stuff in here, it's still kind of a work in progress. Um, we've got some donations here, but the actual doors to this conference room are so pretty. Let me show you actually. These are what those doors look like for the conference room. It's just so pretty. And then we have some of our limited edition tees hanging up over here. This is what it looks like. I love it. So much they're just hanging on these beautiful gold bars we have every single tea and sweatshirt we've ever launched so the idea was to hang a few here I think you guys saw that vlog and then my dad came and he hung up these other two bars which we'll have to put the sweatshirts on this is gonna be hung up here as well this is actually a drawing from our graphic designer to surprise me with a logo so all the employees here have a special tea that has this logo on it um, and it's really special to me because it said like our old address to our new address. It was really sweet. But anywho, we got that printed off and we'll hang it up in here too. It's a little bit of a work in progress, but it's here. We have an office here and then you have my office here. So I'll show you what it looks like. So I have this beautiful wall back here with our signage, my desk. And then I just kind of threw this together, really. I'm going to get like a lamp and some other stuff one day if I come back. But I wanted this to be like a proper office. So if I come here, it's obviously going to be for extended stays. And I just wanted to be sure I had a place that was like done up. It looks good. And a place where I could literally set all my stuff. I had like this office was a mess until today um, just because I have all my goods here. And I was filming here, that's why I have some lights over here, and just trying on stuff, all the things. So I have this hung up. I actually printed this off of Shutterfly, and it's just a collage of like different things with Rose and Daisy, the business, life, like um, just evolving stuff. Like even this makes me emotional. <laughs> Maybe I'm about to start my period. <laughs> Anyways, these are all automatic lights too, so they're all just like going on, but that is the office for me. We have returns department here. We have um, storage stuff in here, another office, and then we have a photo room here. It's where all the socials, lives, all the things take place. It's a little bit of a mess right now, but um, I just got done working in here not too long ago. This room was super important to me. I wanted it to be really big so we can really just make it whatever we want to do. You could have numerous setups like on this side or on this side. I mean, the options are kind of endless with this one. Of course, we have the same B board back there. That's the same colors like my office. It's just a setup for the lives. Again, this is something you can change all the time with the seasons. I mean, um, like there's some things we're gonna do here for Halloween and stuff where you can just move all this furniture, do a different background and like make it different. You know what I mean? Like um, this room is the biggest room, <laughs> not including the warehouse space, but it was very important to me for it to be a functional space for everybody. We have a vanity here, um, changing part. I should have done a changing room. Maybe I'll call them back and tell them to like do a little corner here if we could do a changing room. I don't know why I didn't think about that, but it's probably because the bathrooms are like right there. This anthro mirror is a newer purchase that I got for here, and I have to say I like it for rosy days. Now I will say I like this mirror, but I don't think it's worth the money. Just in my opinion. I don't know. I just don't. I like how big it is, but I don't know. I just don't feel like it's worth the money. I'm like the only person to say that, but it's just my thoughts. Okay, so we're gonna go back out this one. I can go ahead and close these, turn these lights off because we're not gonna be here. Then you have the break room here, our two bathroom areas here, but this is our little break room with everything. I have my cup over here, little lockers on this side as well, all the things, and then you're going into the main spot. So everybody's left for the day. But this is the main warehouse space. We're gearing up for a really, 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 really big sale. 
this wall was full <laughs> of sweatshirts you guys sold so many of them out like it's insane how many are gone now there we have socials office here this is a big storage closet which was super important to me as well because storage was like something we were lacking at our old place and it is definitely not something we're lacking now it goes all the way back as you guys can see we have packing pulling our bay doors we have all the things here and it is beautiful it is so tall it's seriously amazing. Those are a bunch of different orders going out. So keep a lookout for your order if you've placed one. They're wrapping up all of these over here. These are all our boxes. <laughs> it's kind of a mess. It's been crazy. But um, these are all the orders going out tomorrow. So that's really awesome. And then we have this little thing for our delivery drivers. And this is where they usually come in, clock in all the things this is the warehouse space and I'm so grateful for it and it's really hard to believe that I did this myself honestly I'm very proud it's beautiful and I just I'm gonna miss it you know but anywho that's the warehouse I'm super late getting back to the house house where I need to be so I'm gonna gather all my things put them in the car head back so sad to leave Hello, hello. We are officially back home. My skin is just crazy right now. It is breaking out. It is so just messing up. But today is Sunday. I'm hoping I have enough battery to get the, through some of this. I just got a delivery. I put the kids down. They're both asleep. And now is my time to like get myself prepared for the week. So I figured I'd take you guys along with me. That way you could just see like what I do. I did make some bread today trying to make my own bread now and I um I just tried this is my second loaf that I tried and they're both just white bread but I got some wheat dough so that um I can make wheat bread and things like that I'm just tired of spending money on like other loaves of bread when I can make it myself so I got a bread maker bread talk got me because I was looking at it and I was like you know what I'd rather make my own than just buy a loaf of bread every time even though it's convenient I'm just trying to like make more things than just go buy like a loaf of bread and then not use it for the whole week you know what I'm saying this was my best loaf I'll put a picture of her in here so good and I'll um show you guys my bread machine it's really really good I like it so far okay so in my target order I got more of these LO airtight pantry perfection five piece canister sets love these so i bought them last week and i've really been enjoying them i have them pretty much everywhere like i have my flour and stuff in there um i want to put my protein powder in one i have my let me show you guys so i have this one has like chia seeds this one has my athletic greens in here i just really think they're so cute i love their other tupperware which i'll link all this below but i have a lot of their glass tupperware too for like leftovers and things like that that i really enjoy i want to make more bread and all of that and like i want to pre-make pancake mix to just keep stored in the pantry and not go buy like this quick which there's nothing wrong with it but i just like it's so easy to just throw it together and keep it in the pantry and i found a recipe that i'm gonna work up and draw it up but i got more of my all-purpose flowers but then i got whole wheat flour got more pirate's booty also grabbed some chicken pop the cheddar popcorn it's just easy to grab stacy's pita chip mason was requesting fries so i just grabbed these sweet potato fries something simple to throw in the air fryer for a quick meal for the evening because y'all know kids can be picky mason's in a picky phase so Madison will eat anything right now. Absolutely anything. Lots of broccoli. Beef. Have chicken. Turkey. This is good for morning stuff or like the past couple days I've had ground turkey, Brussels, and a little bit of jasmine rice. And another good one is pork chops. So, got some pork chops here. So, I'm going to put all this stuff away. I don't need no one to say you're complicated Cause I knew from the start this might be overrated It's so typical you wanna give it one more try Even though if your mind is telling you it's all I 
have to take out this box anyways, but I want to show you guys while I'm heading out there. The dogs are actually out here too. While I'm out here, I just thought I would go ahead and show you guys how freaking pretty this time of day is. By far my favorite time of day. This tree is already starting to turn, so that means a new season is on its way. But this time of day is so freaking pretty, especially when it hits the light in the entryway hall. I show this on Instagram a lot, but this is like truly such a good, such a good time of the day. It's so nice. And look who's over there. <laughs> Everybody always asks where the dogs are. Literally, Daisy's usually perched up here and Rose is somewhere running around probably trying to hunt squirrels or something. They're always outside. They love it. Daisy loves this area. She usually just sits here, honestly, and it seems like she just watches the sunset every night. So, that's where she saw stay. <laughs> She's like, don't you dare bother me. Hey, everybody wants to see how you're doing. You're just living your best life. <laughs> living your best life with this beautiful weather. Such a good girl. Phone is it about to die, but I want to show you. So we kind of missed it, but like when the sun goes through here, it does this lighting all throughout. So pretty. Look at the mountain. This is such a good time of year. <laughs> and there's Rose. I got to clean up our mess from earlier today, but hey, Rose. <laughs> there's the mountain. She looks so beautiful. Stunning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you okay? <laughs> He's about you okay? Yay, big girl. <laughs> what are you watching? <laughs> Let's see. Good job. Can you put him back up there? Can you put him back up there? Good. Good job, Pooks. So it's 7.28. She got up at about 6.40. Huh, you let me sleep a little bit? So when Mason gets up, we're going to play. And then um, a little bit later, we're going to go to this Metropolitan Market, I think is what it's called. It's supposed to be really nice. Davis has always told me I should go there because he's been there a few times. And I need to get some grocery items. So I'm just curious what else they have. It's like 30 minutes away, which is kind of far for a grocery store for me to want to go. <laughs> Usually I'll just order it here and like have it delivered. But I've been super interested to see what it looks like. And everybody says it is really nice. So probably gonna do that today. Maybe go out and play a little bit. Um, We'll see what the day holds. I need to see what the weather's like because there's also like a little fair going on. We could either do the little fair or we could go like on post and there's like a children's museum and a playground. We, we go there a lot, don't we? You like the swing at the playground? <laughs> Keep in my office open, but I kind of need it. Oh no. Where are you going? Are you leaving? Madison Nicole? 
Max and Nicole, where are you going? <laughs> where are you going? There you go. Come here. Yeah, I know you want to be big. But I do have, I should probably do it now. I do have a baby gate that I need to put on the bottom part of the stairs. I've already put a baby gate at the top of the stairs. I did that last week because she was just going everywhere upstairs. So I ended up going ahead and installing one. I found one at Target that fit because ours, our like um, stairway is a little bit wider than normal. I had to get a couple, but it looks really good. It's like an iron finish, so it matches. So the one I got for the bottom half of the stairs is different, but it's still an iron look, so it's not gonna be like, you know, too different. Okay, we've got oatmeal, eggs. Everybody's eating there. Breakfast, and I think mommy's gonna work on her breakfast too. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> These are good. Yummy. Yeah, it's like a brown banister holder. Uh -oh. Like that box? 